Hi, I'm Deborah Carr from Youth Muse in Chicago. I am an affiliate of the Hive Chicago. Hive? Okay. All right. Americans said, I lead a green friendly lifestyle. Then when asked how they're supporting that lifestyle, what did they say? No, they didn't say recycling. I will, I will. Okay. Um, what else did they say? This is what they said. Okay, so what are you doing to support a green friendly lifestyle? Here's what they said. They said, you know, they nothing. They said nothing. I'm leading a green friendly lifestyle, but I'm doing nothing or I'm doing I don't know. So what does this mean for us? The public wants recommended action. Who here is from a zoo, aquarium, museum, garden? Okay, they specifically want action from you. They want to know what they should do from you. They want you to tell them. Americans see themselves as good guys, but they don't know what to do. So for more information on this research, please check out theoceanproject.org. Which age level has the highest level of concern, is most open to new information, and has the most confidence in their ability to make a difference? Which age level? 18. The Americans said 18 to 25. So what does this mean to us? Um, it means that we are actually reaching out to the right audience. Not only have your youth um, be in programs, have them develop programs, because we are focused on the right audience, and youth need to build be giving those messages. Okay, which ocean did Americans say is the healthiest? Pacific, Atlantic, or Indian? Pacific. Why? What? Uh, no, not because it's the biggest. They said the Atlantic and the Pacific are the, are the healthiest because they touch the United States. Okay? So, we are proud to be American. Um, what does this mean for us? Keep your message local. Some of you may remember the Don't Mess With Texas anti-littering campaign as one of the most successful ever. The most impactful messages touch on someone or some place that means something to your audience. Keep that in mind. The Ocean Project asked the public if they agreed that protecting the ocean should be a priority. During the 2010 Gulf oil spill, the uh, response went way up in support of that, but as soon as the crisis ended, the response began to decline almost immediately. Um, what does that mean for us? Don't wait until the crisis happens to get your message ready. There's an opportunity when the crisis happens. There's an urgency to convey. Get your message ready. Start planning your message right now. In any audience, there will be three types. The congregation, the choir, and the non-believers. The good news is that the big group is the congregation ready to hear our message if we have something to say to them. Uh, First, skip the choir. They already believe, and you can't move the needle with them. Here's the really good news. You get to skip the non-believer, too. You probably can't change their mind. What does this mean for us? Spend your time in the congregation. That's where you can make the most impact with your message, right? Have your young people talk to the congregation. When I tell teens this, they're so relieved they don't have to convince that non-believer. Okay, the most important thing I want to say today is as humans, we instinctively believe that learning leads to caring, which leads to action, right? But in fact, that's not how it works. Knowledge and action are not connected, okay? We have to make action happen first. How can we do that? Invite your friends, right? That's, that's my daughter saying invite your friends. Invite your friends. Um, Andrea said, I put, the, I put the camera in the teen's hands before they even tell them how to use it, right? Get them started before you start teaching them. This is a tough concept for teens to get. They still want to educate, um, but it works great in practice. Here, I'm Unique asks peers to sign a pledge to take action on the spot. So does this all work? The uh, Ocean Project ran an ad in not-so-environmentally friendly Houston, um, made it local, made it actionable, um, talked about an animal that people care about, and when they did the campaign, they found that um, awareness went up, people thought the ocean is affected by the actions of people, and even one year later, they were able to maintain that awareness. So use these ideas to build your message.
Okay, basically what, what I'm getting the kids so to say is tell you. Credit. We're going to have fun. 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 It's going to be fun. That's how you get people to act. <laughs>